Hello, everyone. Um, I'm Yang ZQ from Ecole de Bombe Bahidec, I'm a PhD student in La Padua, uh, Ashim Go. And my presentation is Evaluation of Nature Based Solution for Stormwater Management with a Fully Distributed Model in a uh, Semi Urban Catchment. So, first, let me introduce my background of my research. Uh, with, as you know, with the acceleration of the urbanization uh, and climate change, many cities have been forced to face more inundation risks. If we are looking at the Europe statistic, we can find that uh, flood and the storm are two main disasters uh, happened uh, frequently. And uh, for the, there are also two main, damage, uh, two main disasters for their economic damage. In this case, um, in Europe, we are proposed the nature-based solutions. So what is nature-based solution? They are actions which are inspired by, supported by, or copied from nature. If we are looking at the Europe Commission reports, we can see that um, there has uh, several goals for nature-based solutions. Um, but our research is more focusing on the developing climate change and adaptation and mitita mitigation. So uh, this is the actions for the urban areas and we are considering about to integrating gray with green and blue infrastructures. But my, uh, our question is, how to evaluate the performance of the nature-based solutions. Uh, to be more specifically, is uh, how to evaluate the green infrastructure, uh, the performance of the green infrastructures. So uh, in our research, we are using the high-resolution GIS data and the three uh, X-bound and C-bound rainfall events. And we will modeling with different uh, nature-based solution scenarios by multi-hydro model, and there is two indicators, runoff volume reduction and peak discharge reduction to help evaluate the performance. Our case study is in the uh, Guyang Group catchment. It's 5.2 square kilometers located in the southwest <coughs> of Paris. Uh, here is our catchment, and the, here is the um, location of the two uh, radar. And now I will uh, present the multi-hydro model, the fully distributed hydrological model uh, developed by Edo de Bomba And uh, this module, the main feature of this module is uh, fully distributed. So uh, the resolution of pix pix uh, pixel, uh, the equations will compute at each pixel and the users can define the resolution. So here is a vid uh, video to show how is the performance with the changing the resolution. <coughs> when the resolution getting smaller and the discharge will changing in the conduit. And uh, uh, physically based, so uh, this model is used the GIS data and relies on the physical parameters. And this model has uh, its interaction call to um, to playing with dif uh, four different modules. So it, first it has the rainfall module to can deal with the data from the rain gauge and the radar. And the surface module, it can uh, simulate the infiltration and the runoff on the surface. And the infiltration module, you can see uh, the maximum, we can define the four layers of the soil and we can see the uh, vertical flow and the soil saturation, situ the, the situation in the subsurface. And the drainage model it depend, uh, is based on the swim model and it can see the discharge in the swell system. And here is a video to show how it really works. Uh, Sorry. And so first the rainfall module and and then the rainfall uh, reaching the surface module and to calculate the, according to the different line, uh, line uses and the water will infiltration to the soil. And uh, there is runoff into the drainage system. If the uh, drainage system is full of water and then will flow out and then will uh, re 
virtual action with the surface module. So the surface module will recalculate the runoff. And then our module can change in the scale flexible. Uh, so now we are uh, going to the um, part data preparation. So we have the rainfall data from X bound and C bound, and we choosing the three <coughs> rainfall events from 2015. Uh, the, the total depth, you can see that the total depth of the X bound is less than the C bound, and this, um, and this will influence the, the, our results. And the, uh, we have the high resolution JS data, which are line use. In here, we have different, we defined it seven different land uses. There are forest, road, and uh, house, gully, water, um, et cetera. And we have the uh, digital elevation model with 10 meters resolution. And the drainage system <coughs> has the 76 kilometers. And in, in here, we are choosing the two outlets uh, to see the uh, discharge in these two uh, conduits. And the soil description, uh, we have three different uh, measurement points in the catchment. So in here, we are defined these um, four different soil according to the measurement um, soil data. And um, if we need to use the multi-hydro, we need to change the vector data to the rust data. So in, so this uh, MH asim tool to help the uh, changing to help the data changing. So we use this priority order to uh, define the, the in each pixel reflected by which uh, land use. And our model validation process is uh, in, in our catchment it has a it has a water space and in this water space it has a, um, a sensors to see the water level and then we are using this measurement data to, to validation the model. You can see that uh, three rainfall events with the Nash uh, value, uh, which are more or less 0 0.9, which are more um, suit, suitable for the measurement. And after is our different scenarios. So first is a baseline scenario, which is used to compare with the other nature-based solution scenarios. In this scenario, we don't have any uh, nature-based solutions. And after is the different nature-based solution scenario. In here, we have the purpose pavement scenario, which we change the uh, roads le less than equal to 2.5 meters and all the parking lots to the purpose pavement. And we are using JS tool to find all of the li low-lying space uh, to change to rain garden and the green roof, we are changing all of the flat roof at the green roof. So, uh, and combined scenario is the three of the combination of the uh, individual scenario. Uh, so the result we can, uh, with the C bound result, we can see uh, that in two countries, um, the combined with the, uh, the the red line is the baseline scenario. We can see that uh, nature-based solution scenarios can decrease the discharge in varying degree. And here is a video to show uh, how it's changing if we are using the nature-based solutions. And uh, the green roof scenario has less discharge at the beginning of the rainfall event. But during the third, uh, the two and third rainfall peak, the discharge of green roof scenario is getting higher. And in the end of the event, uh, some of the nature-based solution scenarios has higher uh, discharge more than the baseline scenario. And uh, we can see that at the beginning of the rainfall event, because the nature-based solutions, they are not uh, saturated, so they can absorb the water. But uh, at the end of the, uh, and end of the rainfall, they, they, they are saturated and then they will release, re release some of the water. 
and with the result of C bound, we can see uh, compare with the C, uh, X bound. We can compare with the C bound result. X bound result is more regular. So uh, the baseline scenario has the highest discharge, and followed by rain garden, porous pavement, green roof, and the combined scenario. And you can see that green roof is the most uh, effective single scenario, but the combined scenario because it's combined all of the nature-based solution practice, so it show more effective uh, performance. And this is the um, evaluate the two indicators. And if we are combined, uh, compare the results for C bound and X bound, we can find that the discharge reduction and the runoff re volume reduction is higher for X bound rainfall event. That's uh, what I'm saying at the beginning. The the, C, the X bound event uh, total depth is less than the C bound, and the performance of purpose pavement scenario is slightly better than the rain garden uh, in the X bound event, but in C bound event it's just opposite. And the, the reduction of the peak discharge and the runoff volume um, of combined scenario can maximum uh, reach 70% or 91% for X bound rainfall event, but um, for C bound is um, more or less 16%. And for the conclusion, nature based solution uh, scenarios is modeling with the multi hydro model. Although the three rainfall events have different uh, characteristics, but the nature-based solution scenario is more effective in the first rainfall peak because they are not uh, sat saturated at that moment. And the um, combination seems to be the optimal solutions for this catchment. And um, the, the performance of green roof is better than the other two single um, practice. And it's more steady in all of the events a rainfall event, especially at the beginning of the rainfall event. And X bound and C bound radar uh, have different spatial and temporal resolution, so it has a strong effect on um, the perform performance of the MBA scenarios. Our perspective is uh, because multi hydro is still under development, so uh, the new version will integrate in more hydrological processes, for example, the evapotranspiration and more resilient infrastructures. And more results will be analyzed by multi in the future. And our, um, we will still using the high resolution rainfall data to investigate the, the rainfall variability on the nature-based solution performance. That's, thank you. Green roof module. Uh, we we have a special uh, module for for the green roof. So in the multi hydro, we integrated green roof. We are considering uh, the green roof with uh, with five different. Uh, it has the soil and uh, the with the special uh, drainage system to connect it with the roof, and then we will con the and after we are connected with the our drainage system. Uh, yes, we can change the uh, the roofs, the parameters of the roofs, mm -hmm. and uh, with different uh, hydrologic conductivity, or the um, the high uh, the seek of the seek of the soil, I can considering different soil in this module. Yeah, yeah. Um, we we only change. Yes, we only change the flat uh, the flat roof to the green roof. So we didn't considering the flat flat roof.
Thank you.